Well, hello there. You may look at this grab bar above the toilet and wonder, do I need that in my home? Find out the answer today on Toilet Talk. Yo! Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh, and I'm an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people make the best changes to their bathroom to live at home for a lifetime. And today we are going to be talking about this guy right here, rear wall grab bars. Rear wall grab bars are grab bars that are installed horizontally above the toilet. They're meant to help people safely get on and off of the toilet. Rear wall grab bars are helpful to some people to help them stay independent in the bathroom and keep their dignity. This is how you're supposed to use a rear wall grab bar. In practice, I've usually seen people who are tall and larger bodied using them when transferring on and off of the toilet. Rear wall grab bars are not necessary for everyone. In fact, it's really rare for me to recommend a rear wall grab bar in the home for people other than wheelchair users. And even then, not all wheelchair users use rear wall grab bars. Before we move on, please make sure that you're already subscribed to the Toilet Talk YouTube channel. You'll also wanna make sure that you hit the notifications button so you never miss a new video. Rear wall grab bars can lead to confusion on how to best use them. Often people don't know which grab bar to hold onto or where to put their hands. This confusion can lead to stretching across the toilet to hold onto the grab bar, twisting your back, or overreaching. All of this stretching, twisting, and reaching can lead to an unintentional injury, and we really don't want that for you. In a study conducted by the Georgia Institute of Technology in 2016, the researchers stated that rear wall grab bars might provide an illusion of safety. They asked 21 wheelchair users to rate their toilet transfers in terms of their confidence, difficulty, and how challenging it's become for them to get on and off the toilet as they age. Wheelchair users with grab bars on the rear and the side walls rated their toilet transfers as more challenging compared to wheelchair users who only had a grab bar on the side of the toilet. The researchers guessed that people assumed they needed to use the rear wall grab bar just because it was there. So when the rear wall grab bar was there, they guessed that when people saw it and wanted to use it, they would stretch far over the toilet and experience a fear of falling. If you feel any fear or anxiety about getting on and off the toilet, you need to head on over to your primary care provider and ask for a referral for an occupational therapist. Occupational therapists are really good at helping you figure out how to safely get on and off the toilet to take care of yourselves. So that way, if you're ever in a situation where there's one too many grab bars and you don't know where to put your hand, you will be taken care of, my friend. Speaking of falls, people who walk to the toilet shouldn't rely on the rear wall grab bar to hold on to either. If you have male anatomy and stand to pee in front of the toilet, holding on to the grab bar means you're going to bend forward, thus changing your center of balance and increasing the likelihood of falls. More grab bars near the toilet doesn't mean better safety. In fact, you only need one well-placed grab bar next to your toilet to make a difference. Rear wall grab bars are not necessary to have in your bathroom. They're usually recommended for wheelchair users, but not all wheelchair users use them. If you walk to the toilet, do not use the rear wall grab bars to hold on to. And lastly, you really only need one thoughtfully placed grab bar next to your toilet to be more safe with getting on and off. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you found something useful, go ahead and share it with a friend. I will see you next time on Toilet Talk. Bye-bye.